Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin. And today we are going to talk a little bit about audio in Final Cut Pro 10. Is that right? Yeah, what I call audio sweetening. Audio sweetening. Yes. Okay. Now, audio sweetening is a term you hear in post-production circles. It simply means anything you do to your audio, make it sound better. Anything you do to your audio, anything make it sound do, better. That's right. Make it louder, make it quieter. Well, it's funny. Some... Audio, is, audio is notorious. I mean, even on big productions, it's really hard to get clean audio. It mm -hmm. just is. In fact, um, my friend Brian Gary just told me that what is it, 10 to 12 percent of even major films are ADR, which is automated dialogue replacement. In other words, they have to go into the studio to, to and then do, do it pickups. over again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a big problem. Okay, so, so you can you can do some of this audio sweetening right in Final Cut Pro 10. Correct. Okay, so and in this in this particular example, um, I have a, uh, a little a, a scene. A woman's in uh, walks into a restaurant. She's conversing with this this man, and. <laughs> As she walks away, she you know she must trip over a cable or something. But uh, you'll see this you see this spike right here. In fact, let me go ahead and change the view for working with audio. And this I found this view to be extremely helpful in working with Final Cut Pro. Which is a large audio large only. Large waveform because you don't need to see picture. You're working with audio. Okay. And then now you can really see that, that you know there's something going on there. There's ambience. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay. Can we see the picture too while that's playing? Just to yeah, so see the can, context. Sure. She comes in. Okay, so there's no nothing on screen that would indicate that that is an important sound. Exactly. That's something somebody dropped something in the background. So it looks like exactly. So okay. we want to try to eliminate that. Okay. And what we we don't want to just cut it out because then we'll have this big you know gaping silent hole Total there. Silence. Right. So we need to replace it with ambience, and you can do that fairly simply in Final Cut Pro 10 using the range tool. So let's let's look at that first. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the range tool. You can press R. And this area here is, is decent ambience. There's no noise in here. So but by ambience, you just mean the, the, the general sound in the room. Even though there's no, there's no dialogue, there's no action, there's no noise, there's still something going on. Um, audio files call it room tone. Room tone. Essentially room okay. tone. And what we do is grab a piece of good room tone to cover over that, that piece there that we're about to um, remove. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to use is this range tool, and I'm just going to drag out this little area here. Um, probably just enough to cover the area that you want to yes. replace, right? And then what I'm going to do is Command C to copy, right? Now it's copied, so I've got in the clipboard that room tone copy. That little chunk. Okay. Yep. Now another thing that's really important is this feature that was introduced in 10.03 called clip skimming. Clip Th skimming. This is okay. really important. With clip skimming. You could skim, and notice it's skimming. I could skim over that piece, and we can hear that. You part, can right? hear it, um, as as opposed to using the regular skimmer where it's looking at the primary storyline. It's looking at everything. This one isolates your skimming just to the clip you're working. On. Okay. And the important thing about this is you can skim, and let's say I want a blade right there with the skimmer already there. All I need to do is hit Command B, and it blades it. So it'll it'll blade it right where the skimmer is. Right. And if you didn't have clip skimming enabled, it would have bladed. It would have bladed uh, uh, the primary the storyline. The primary storyline. Right. That's okay. the beauty of the clip skimmer. So I can skim to here and hit Command B, and I'm, I've just created a little. That clip. is really cool because I've used clip skimming just to to look at independent parts of a of a complex composite right. in Final Cut Pro 10 because you look at individual mm -hmm. um, I layers. Say layers. Oh, sorry. I mean, <laughs> connected clips. Connected clips. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know that the also any commands you execute then would be specific to the clip that you're skimming. Right. So that that's very really very handy. Cool. Now I could now go ahead and bring down the audio. I'm going to go just. just chunk that all the way down. Okay. But of course, when you do this and you play over, it's just going to go to dead silence, right? right. You, don't, you really want to have ambience in it. But you remember, I already copied it to the clipboard. Yes. Yes. So all I really need to do is skim uh, to where, move the play to where I want to put the ambience. Okay. And I'm going to use this command up here. And it's a good keyboard shortcut uh, to me uh, memorize. This is option B, paste as connected clip. I love paste as connected it's clip. It's great. It's going to yep. take that ambience that we copied with the range, and it's going to connect it, as you can see. I'm going to zoom in. It's going to connect it right below the portion that we just knocked yep. out. See that? And what's really handy if I play over this, let's see if I play over the whole thing, you should be able to not hear that noise and ambience covers it up. Yep. Right. Now I got a little bit here. There's a little something now afterwards. What's, now what's nice about that, I can switch to my uh, trim tool and uh, let's say press T. You can actually, actually 
Actually, it's interesting with connected clips, the actual rolling trim tool doesn't work. What you have to do is you got to do one side and then the, and other. Then the, other, the other. This is something that I want Apple to put in, uh -huh. the ability to, uh, to actually do a rolling trim, rolling trim yep. on connected clips. That would be very, very Yeah, it works on the primary storyline, and is. then you expect it to work with connected exactly. clips. Exactly. So now, that, th this should pretty much should, uh, have dealt with it now. So now I don't have any any noise at all. Yeah, well, and you, well you've just got the ambient room tone. Right. Uh, now, one last thing is, uh, audio f editors do all the time, is because you have this hard cut coming in and out, just actually undid this here. You'll a lot of times want to smooth the transition coming in and out by can adding you just a little, zoom in a little closer yeah. so we can really see. You might it. Yeah. want to add little fade handles on the coming in and coming out, so that way you don't get clicks and pops. Yes. Sometimes you'll get a click or a pop if it's a hard edit, and if, if you're it's not, suddenly coming into some sound. Uh -huh. Right. And if the waveform isn't on what's called the zero crossing because you have a cine wave, and if it's not the, the edit isn't right on the zero crossing yeah. point, you'll get a click or a pop. So. What's, in, what's really important is you can do that, but that's a lot of work. What's better is to select the clip and hit Command T, and it actually adds little transitions at the head and tail uh, with one yeah. command. It puts it in a, in a storyline and then adds the transitions to, to both the beginning and end. Correct. Okay. Beginning and end. And what's also nice is if you select, if you select the transition and go to the inspector, you have your four fade types right here, linear, plus 3B, minus 3B, S-curve, right ah, here from the pop-up. Okay, because it seems like maybe you wouldn't have those the way you do if you if you did drag mm -hmm. the little fade handle in. You right. can do it there, but here you can do it with a transition as well. Absolutely. Change, change the type of fade. So, so using the clip skimmer, mm -hmm. commands at the clip skimmer, and using uh, transitions, oh. command T, you could really go through your timeline in, in very short order and, and do a lot of really quick sweetening. So clip skimming, using the range tool, copying and pasting this connected clip, using Command-T to put transitions on, ways to really quickly go through and sweeten your audio. Yeah, it works fantastic. Fantastic. Right. So uh, this and other things we have on our, our website, okay. uh, Ripple Training. We just came out with a uh, audio editing from uh, Damian Allen that's excellent. Covers compressors, noise gates, uh, you know, all the all of that stuff that when you open the panel, you're like, whoa, whoa, close it. I, I just close it. <laughs> so, uh, it's, so, but it's a whole tutorial yeah, focused yeah. on um, audio, audio editing, sweetening, sweetening mm -hmm. in Final Cut Pro 10. Cool. Exactly. So check that out at ripple training.com. And thank you, Steve. Thank you. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.